Hello, hello. I am making a fact check video now. Donald Trump was nominated by Norway for a peace prize. Okay, so this would not happen unless he is pro peace, unless he is doing very well globally, unless he was. Uh, very very diplomatic and creating peace in Israel okay so all of these things that you do not hear on the fake news huh, presented to you by individual activists like myself okay without an agenda my only agenda as I told the other guy today is love is compassion kindness Okay, And I'm giving my all for this. I'm not being paid. I'm not sponsored. No one sponsors love and kindness and compassion. That's not, it doesn't make them money. So, no. <laughs> I have to sponsor myself. Okay, so I was threatened. Yeah. Because I won arguments. Because the opposition doesn't have any arguments. They have insults. They have severe bullying. They have obscenity. They have sexism. Sexual harassment. Extreme disrespect. Violence. Threatening. That's what they have. That's the program they have. The, the Black Lives Matter people, the anti-far people, that's what they do. They want to dominate. They want to kill all white people. They want to threaten. They want to intimidate you. No. You, the people who have helped them. Two white ladies, um, middle-aged, and one was older. Okay. They helped the Black Lives Matter people. They thought they were helping them. They thought they were in their naive minds. They thought that's the right thing. We need to help them. They have been oppressed in the past, so let's help them. Right? Mm, was not a good idea. Because one of the Black Lives Matter men, they took him home, what were kind enough to cook for him and everything. He raped both of them and then killed them. Yes, not brought to you by the fake news, okay? No, fake news don't talk about this. That doesn't fit the narrative. They want to sell you the anti-Trump propaganda. They want to sell you hate. They want to sell you lots of propaganda that is totally based on on fakeness and and there's absolutely they have absolutely no arguments whatsoever they have no facts and everything is just a huge commercial propaganda every day drilling it into people shaming people for not getting on board with them incredible shaming that is totally empty-handed that has absolutely no argument whatsoever as soon as you probe and ask them a question, they get mad because they know they have no argument, okay? And every question even makes them mad, okay? That's not a decent, that's not an open-minded conversation, okay? That's just simply, that is a war, okay? That's what that is. That's like, that's like any nation that is going that invades another country that's what the black lives matter antifa isis muslim agenda well, that's what they're doing okay so for self defense only i got one under my bed i was severely threatened yeah. Someone claimed to have my address. Okay. Just for your information, my husband and I, we mean business with this. We really do. Okay. So if anyone came after us, 
we would shoot to kill. Okay, we definitely. And my husband is is a former officer. Okay, so he has the law in his hands. And that needed to be said. Okay, I needed to say this because I think some people they they don't they probably don't quite understand who they're dealing with. Yeah, okay. I'm not working for the government. I'm not an agent for anyone, okay? I'm not even working for a militia. So I'm I'm an activist. I believe in justice. I believe in fairness and kindness in respect. I respect people. I'm always respectful to people. But they perceive me winning the arguments as not being respectful. But that's their twisted way of thinking. That's not my problem. When I deal with people, I am always polite and respectful. Okay, and I would never insult anyone, no matter how much they insult me. I would never attack anyone. The only time I would be, it would be, it could be viewed as violence is if it's immediate self-defense. That is a form of violence, of course. Very violent. It can become very, very violent. Don't mess with someone who means business. Don't mess with people who are who have extreme convictions about this, okay, about justice and all of this. And don't mess with anyone. Don't hurt anyone. Don't hurt any living being. Okay. Any person who attacks and hurts another living being is in the lowest state of energetic vibration that's the very lowest state that stream of sorrow okay. that's extreme mental illness that is what extreme mental illness is about okay is cluster b that's the that's those are the extreme mental illnesses you want to call an artist or a hippie person crazy think about this again okay the artist the hippie person who is peaceful is very sane, very, very sane. Okay. The person who goes out hurting innocent beings or innocent people on the street or letting their frustrations or their, their ego hurt because they identify themselves with this or that person you know, or this or that group, the people who go out there hurting innocent beings and and humans those are the ones that are cluster b those are the ones with antisocial personality disorders those are criminally insane and those are the ones that are the most insane those those are the ones that the people that are argue for black lives matter that are on the side of violence those those people are very very insane those people are not clear in the head at all, okay? And one cannot even talk to them because they don't allow reason. They don't, they don't even, I heard that goes so far, they don't even allow people quoting Martin Luther King on equality and peace between the races. They don't even want to hear that. It's like, hello, isn't Martin Luther King supposed to be your teacher, your mentor, and you abandoned him? Okay, that's how insane they are. I just want to fact check and put things into perspective for people to really understand who they're supporting when they are going and supporting hate groups that want to kill all white people. Just want you to know this. You don't hear this. You don't hear anyone call the kid by the name like I do. You don't hear that anywhere. People are terrified of doing this. I'm not going to let anyone intimidate me. 
Okay. It's not going to happen. I speak out for justice and that's what I live for. I live for justice. I live for liberating all innocent beings. I live for the liberation of all animals. I live for the, f the freeing of all birds and all animals from cages. I don't want anyone to suffer. I don't want any human to suffer either. Okay. I treat everyone with equal respect. Okay. They don't treat me with respect, but I treat them with respect. And whoever has me as a friend has me for life, and I will protect you. Okay. I'm a very loyal, compassionate person. I stand up for love. I stand up for peace, for equality. Okay. Equality. Let that sink in. Okay. Equality. That means nobody gets discriminated against. Okay. That's what that means. Okay. I hope that makes a lot of sense. I hope that sinks in now. Okay. So all of these things not mentioned, not mentioned with one word by the fake news. Everything, all the amazing things that Donald Trump has already accomplished, not mentioned on the fake news, ever. It doesn't fit their narrative. They, they are a pro propaganda propagating institution. All the news channels. I would say almost all of them. Okay, So it's a pity. It's very sad. I see a lot of so-called self-proclaimed spiritual people all jumping on that same propaganda bandwagon. It's a, it's very disappointing for me to see this. Very sad. Makes me cry. Makes me extremely sad to see so many people putting their own, you know, they are putting their subscriber amount and their constituents and their supporters and their money and whatever, all of these things, putting that above justice. It's very sad for me to see this. Very frightening also. You know. That's also how Adolf Hitler got in, into office and that is what people want to repeat. They want to put the Muslim agenda again into office. They want a Muslim Adolf Hitler that's what they're working towards. And that's very, very disappointing. And as a justice warrior, justice lover, okay? Well, there's the dove. Hi, my beautiful. The dove stands for freedom and love and kindness. And we're feeding them sunflower seeds. So that's wonderful that the dove just came to give me support. Yeah on the balcony. I know the animals are on my side because I speak for them. The animals are my clients. The animals are all of all of them are my children. I strongly believe in freedom and kindness and compassion and gentleness for all living beings. Okay. I believe in the ending of suffering. I don't want to see suffering anymore. We need to end halal, end kosher. Okay. Those are cruel, sla slaughtering methods. Real cruel. I am against all animal sacrifices in India. The animal sacrifices have to end. They have to come to an end. If enough people say no to it, the animal sacrifices will come to an end. You have to stand up for justice. You, all of you have to stand up for justice and put justice and safety for all living beings above your own selfish needs. Okay, Peace and love.